Thor and Lass is such a good idea. A spot at Sister. You know what help me relax more? A bigger cocktail. What the heck is this? The Barbie camper star? That's so sir. It's still so yummy, but I need a grown-up drink, I'm telling you. It's what? What? Oh! <laughs> okay. So hi! I'm on my finger, dude, and this is my review of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars. I'm so excited. It all makes drag story. That's my own word. I mashed up drag and history into a new word. But it all takes place October 22nd on MTV. So mark it down. I am so serious. Because if you miss it, you're going to be SOL. But if you do miss it, come back and visit me on OutTV.ca and we will dish the tea. I know, I don't really understand what that word means either, but all the kids are saying it, so it must be true, eh? So, here I am, prettying myself up, as if I could. Thank you so much for saying. I'm serious, though. I'm having a spa day to pretty myself up to judging level. I'm so serious. This face mask is driving me crazy, too, because it smells so yummy. I'm just serious. I hope it's a face mask. It could be dip. I don't know. I didn't ask. I just put it on my face. All right. You know what you should do is give me some chips when you get that drink, is all I'm saying. Okay, so, scorecards out. Who do we hate? Oh, God, already I'm hearing people scream, Mimi, I'm first, I'll start, ha! That's very rude, but not untrue, because if you've seen the preview for the first episode of RuPaul's Drag Race, a lot of people are surprised she's back. Do you remember what a pill she was? Seriously, she was only on for three episodes of season three. Too. But she was screaming and carrying on so much I can still hear her. It's terrible. And seriously, if she hasn't learned to calm down, she's going to have to change her name from Mimi I'm first to I'm a going to have a breakdown. So serious. Of course, if she doesn't calm down, she will maybe have to change her name to Mimi I'm first to get voted off is all I'm saying. Seriously, I still have her down for first to get a slap. So... That's her in, is all I'm saying. She should learn to calm down. You know the best way to do that is with an absolute cocktail because they're so relaxing. So that's more like it. Thank you so much. Okay, another all-star surprise is that Tammy Brown. Do you remember her? No? Well, that's because she was only on for two episodes of season one. A lot of people hadn't even tuned in yet. They didn't know what RuPaul drank. They didn't know. They weren't on the cutting edge like you and I. But... She got kicked off for giving up, if you ask me. She was all right. The first two challenges weren't for her, really. They weren't her milieu, as the word is. But seriously, when she had to lip sync for her life, she didn't even lip sync. She just swayed there like a willow in the wind. Just to, She just gave up. I'm so sorry, because I really liked her. I think she's cool. She is, however, my vote for the one to watch this season. That is, if she doesn't get kicked off early, like she did in season one. Oh, and speaking of season one, Chanel is back, eh? I am so surprised. Remember how fed up she was over the judging? A.K.A. Santino. Always. She now just felt that she was harshly judged and that nobody ever complimented her on her beauty. And she got really mad when she didn't win all the challenges. Do you remember? Her in season two every five minutes. I think I'm going to win that. I should have won that. I can't believe I didn't win that. I am serious. That gets tired really fast. You have to relax is all I'm saying. But she didn't, didn't she try and quit too? I think she tried to quit, but then she didn't because she could have won and she just didn't want to not win. She just didn't want to not lose is all I'm just saying. So all I'm saying is that she had better pull it together and be the best she now she can be. Or she's out. She's going to be out early. Also, Season four, sweetheart, Latith Royale is back. Oh, do you remember? She won Miss Congeniality too, but Michelle Visage had it out for her because she kept wearing those big old dyke boots. Do you remember? She got red to filth for it. It was awful. But you know, Latrice has been very busy on a national tour. She's been all over the place. Shows left, right, and center, tips galore. I've been watching her on Twitter. I know she's busy. So she should have acquired a few pretty shoes since then. Hopefully she'll bring them to the race because you cannot be red for the same thing twice if you ask me. That's all. She, anyway, she's my vote to make the top five for RuPaul's All-Stars. I'm just saying. Who's my other four, you ask? Well, none other than Manila, Raven, Chad, and Nina. 
Jeez, that name stands out alone, eh? Chad Michael? Nina Raven Milan? And Chad. That's very brave of him, I think. I would I would have put a sparkly name against mine. Anyway, that's just me. Well, a finger did. Nina Raven Milan and Chad all came in second for their season, so you'd think they'd at least make the top four for this. Seriously. But if they don't, my vote for the first one of them not to make the top three. I hate to say it, but it's Raven. Yeah. She was in the bottom two twice in season two. Do you remember? I'm just saying, pointing it out. Don't disappoint me, Raven. You're one of my faves. <clears throat> Shh, don't tell me how to cross the get jealous. That's so yummy. Oh, okay. As for my other girls, Juju B, Pandora Box, Alexis Mateo, and Sophia Yara, I like these girls. They're some of my favorites, too, but they've they're going to have to bring it. They are, because they have all been read by the judges. And by judges, I still mean Santino Reyes. He's very lippy. He strikes me as somebody who can't walk to his car alone after a show. Do you know what I'm saying? Regardless, these girls had better be thinking about Santino and his judgy ways when they bring it to the All-Stars. Or one of them could be in the bottom two out of the gate right away. And who is my vote for the bottom two, you ask? Well... I want it to be Mimi on first because she chaps my ass, but it's all down to the first challenge, isn't it? If they suck out of the gate, then they better be able to bring it out on the catwalk, and a lot of them have been read on the catwalk, Pandora Box is all I'm saying. So, they had better not hold anything back, I'm so serious. That said, my vote for the first in the bottom two, Mimi, I'm first, and oh god, this is so hard for me to say. I need a sip of my absolute cocktail. It's just too much. Yummy! Oh. But I think my second choice for bottom two will be, have to be Pandora Box. Girl, I'm so sorry. I don't want it to be true, so bring it, baby, because I've got you down. It's my first to get a vote. You're my first vote. Let me say this right. You're my vote for the first to get a spinoff sitcom. So you better not disappoint me or anyone else. Well, that's it. Those are my predictions. Let me know yours. You can follow me on Twitter at WFingerDo with two O's, because two O's are better than none. And you let me know who you vote for. Don't forget to hashtag RUStars, RU Stars, and watch RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars every Monday night on ITV starting October 22nd. Then come back and see me on ITV.ca, and we'll have a cocktail or two and dish the dirt. Kisses! Ah! What's that? These aren't chips. They're cucumbers. For my eyes? I am, but just put them on my eyes. I just, I don't know. It's just a hunger. It's just a, what is this? Yeah, you see? I think that this is, yeah. I think I made a terrible life choice here. So yummy.